Why is she looking at us so we just fucking killed someone? You see this look? This is the look you give someone when they're pure fucking scum. And I hate to break it to you, but if you're a man, you're automatically, by default, no, by definition, scum. Like, how dare you interrupt women? Are you doing this because you're better than them? Are you doing it because you get paid more? Are you doing it because you have a penis? Hey, what's up, you guys? How's it going? It's me, Mario. Hope you're having a pretty good day. So, I have a question for you. Have you ever, before in your life, at any point in given time, been man-interrupted? When it comes to mornings, I cannot start my day. I cannot... I cannot start my... What's that? You're not familiar with the word man-interrupted? God, you're a fucking idiot. It's obviously when a man interrupts a woman, I mean, it's pretty fucking simple. I don't know how you don't understand this. We're taking the word interruption, that's a very universal word, you know, because equality, and we're adding the prefix man to single out the men of this world that find it so important to simply just interrupt women for no fucking reason. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Mario, don't women interrupt men too? No, you fucking idiot, because they have vaginas and they are perfect, obviously. Since so many of you are uneducated about the man interruption going on in today's world, I decided to find a video to teach you guys about man interruption. Now before the video starts, I want to make sure you guys aren't confusing man interruption with man spreading or man splaining. So just for a brief overview, man spreading is when a man spreads his physical body to take up as much space as humanly possible. You're talking about men wanting or liking to explain everything like yes, that. Yes, that's exactly what I'm talking about. And last but not least, we have man interruption. I hate when videos try to start off really hardcore, emotional, and artsy as fuck. Like, have you ever heard of man interruption? No? Then you're dead to me. Because people that don't know about man interruption are just as bad as Hitler himself. Even if you never heard about it, we're pretty sure you saw it. These women seem to really know their stuff. I mean, it really sounds like they know something we don't know. I mean, when you think about it, they really put in so much work for this video. I mean, they got the super high quality camera so they can be taken seriously. They've got a more than likely custom made font. I mean, they even went out of the way to go talk to a man in real life and ask him if he wanted to be a part of their production, where all he has to do is put his finger in front of women's lips. I mean, we're only like 10 seconds into this video and this video honestly has it all. The really artsy filter, the pure symbolism of little X's across the whole fucking screen because you know, women are being silenced. doesn't control everything that happens Very in Russia. I know, but the big story getting absurd now. Be happy for you. I'm let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. So, we have a bunch of clips of men interrupting women, and this is supposed to magically prove the fucking point that man interruption is a fucking epidemic. I mean, what does this really fucking prove? We have the motherfucker that does karaoke in cars interrupting Adele. We have Kanye's famously known moment where he made that bitch famous. And I mean, that's pretty much it. They're not giving any statistics or stats or numbers. They're simply going online, finding videos of men interrupting women and saying this is our fucking proof. Because it's obviously impossible to go online and find a video of a man being interrupted by a woman. Because I'm pretty sure if a man ever says that at any point in his life he's been interrupted by a woman, he's 100% fucking lying. Get work again. Well, he approved now. Million new jobs. He approved now. Balanced that the United States alone could not do. Right, but you so said. Wait, now wait. You let me think you're going to cheat. Look, this is an important. Oh. But in order for me to give you. Bill Cunningham's a lawyer. Attorney General, State of Ohio. I mean, what more could you fucking want? That clearly proves that man interruption is a real thing. What? No way. I mean, I knew man interruption was a fucking problem, but I mean. It happens every day, like, holy fucking shit. What are we gonna fucking do? I mean, we gotta fucking call the Navy, call the Army, call ISIS to fucking kill off these men. But, wait, all of those organizations have men. We we just keep going around in circles. Is is there any way to fucking fix this? We, we have to find a way to fix this gigantic epidemic problem 
of man interruption. Esse assunto da interrupção masculina às mulheres é um assunto que muitas vezes passa despercebido, mas é um assunto muito mais recorrente, muito mais sério do que a gente imagina. All right. Well, this is good. We have Gal Bar Baradas, Baradas, and she's uh, the CEO of something. I, I honestly don't fucking know, but maybe she can help us. Maybe she has the answers. De nada adianta a gente colocar várias mulheres em torno da mesa se elas não têm a oportunidade de se expressar, de se colocar, de expor suas ideias. Okay, hold on, hold on. I don't know about you, but honestly, anyone that talks too much, I fucking don't like. And I know this sounds kind of rich coming from me because I'm a fucking commentator and I run my own fucking channel where I literally do nothing but fucking talk. But outside of YouTube, if you just walk up to me and start talking about some random fucking shit and you don't shut the fuck up, I will not fucking like you. You could be a man, a woman, Miley Cyrus, motherfucking Justin Bieber, and I'm gonna dislike you if all you do is talk nonstop. I mean, of course, unless you're Watsky. I could listen to Watsky. All day long. Every time I get a beat, I know I got a beat it up a bend it, then I break it, then I chop it, then I eat it up a Tito would never approve of the way I've been treating the music. I bleed it, I bruise it, I kick it to the curb, and then I'm sipping about rubber and I be freaking it, doing it, keeping it moving. I'm picking apart the muscle when I'm thinking about the hustle, but I'm nice. Nice! Okay, I'm very confused. Why are we crossing out a woman's lips and we're crossing out the word interrupted? Like, it's really fucking iffy that you kind of understand what they're trying to say, but at the same time, you know it doesn't 100% symbolically make sense. fucking done that's it it's 2017 and we now have an app that will record you throughout your fucking day and analyze your entire day to tell you how many times you've been interrupted by a man this is this is honestly it but more importantly why the fuck do we have an iphone os inside of whatever fucking phone this is what i mean what fucking phone is this i mean i'm not an apple fanboy cunt but i know for a fact this fucking body is not the body of an iPhone. Outra coisa legal sobre o app é que a gente vai poder reunir informações dos usuários no mundo todo e disponibilizar isso para quem estiver pesquisando, quem quiser saber mais, como isso acontece, por que isso acontece. Judging from what we've seen in the video, it kind of seems like the app is going to be running non-stop throughout the entire day. So it's basically going to record your entire fucking day, then analyze it, and I guess pick out voices that sound a lot deeper, since, you know, guys naturally have deeper voices. Which, by the way, I find fucking sexist because I'm pretty sure there's at least one motherfucker out there that has a slightly higher than usual voice. Like, how dare you fucking assume that every guy on the entire fucking planet has a deep voice? But like I said, it's kind of creepy that this thing is gonna be listening to you throughout your fucking day. And I mean, that's pretty much fucking it. They end the video on a pretty strong note. After the right of free speech, we want the right of full speech. And I actually really understand that logic. Like, after we get a new Call of Duty, I want it to actually be a good Call of Duty. But I mean, that's pretty much it. So if you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new about man interruption, make sure to drop a like and let me know down below in the comments what you guys think on the subject. Because if you don't drop a like, every single fucking feminist in the entire fucking world is going to get together and form their own army, navy, football team, ISIS. And they're going to beat the shit out of you for not dropping a like on this video. Also, if you drop a like on the video, you are 100% guaranteed a blowjob from the one and only Piper Perry. Also, make sure to join my giveaway for a chance to win one of the following games. link in the description and that's pretty much it so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed hope you have a pretty good day and yeah take it easy and the clouds are red and fake like they're wearing a tuba lipstick the sun is